وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My beloved brothers and sisters In this episode inshallah ta'ala I want to go into the second uh, method or the second way of responding to the shubha the doubt that was presented by the orientalists the missionaries and also ex-muslims and even some people who claim islam saying that the quran is not uh, mutawatir this episode is going to be the second response to that because in our previous episode i spoke about that the scholars of Islam, by unanimous agreement, by ijma, they all agree that it's a prerequisite for a Quran to be considered a Quran that it comes to us by mass transmission. It has to be uh, mutawatir. In today's episode, inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to respond to it from a second, another perspective or another way which builds on to the previous episode and that is the ulama of al-islam they clearly and categorically stated that the quran and the qiraat being mutawatir qad tahaqqaqa fil waqa it has actually happened it's not just a prerequisite or a condition alone we've actually found 10 qiraat that have met these conditions that are mutawatir, that have actually meant it. Scholars have said, Alhamdulillah, it's present now. It's not just a condition, it's actually met. So I'm going to mention 10 great Imams who've said that. The first one is Al Imam Taqiyuddin ibn Taymiyyah, who died the year 728 Hijriya. Ibn Taymiyyah says in his Majmu' al Fatawa, Al Quran al Ladi Baina Lawhail Mushafi Mutawatirun. فإن هذه المصاحف المكتوبة اتفق عليها الصحابة ونقلوها قرآنا عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وهي متواترة من عهد الصحابة نعلم علما ضروريا أنها ما غيرت ابن تيمية says the Quran that is in between the two covers is متواتر فإن هذه المصاحف he says these مصاحف اتفق عليها الصحابة the Sahabas unanimously agree upon it ونقلوها and they transmitted it to us قرآنا as a Quran وهي متواترة and it is متواتر from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم من عهد الصحابة from the time of the companions until today and he said نعلم علما ضروريا we know this by necessary knowledge أنها ما غيرت that it hasn't been changed الإمام بدر الدين الزركشي he mentions in his kitab al bahr al-Muhit and he also mentions it in his Tashnif, tashnif al-Masami' uh, in the Jam' al-Jawami' he mentions it in both but this wording is the wording of uh, his kitab uh, Bahr al-Muhit he says قال السروجي في باب الصوم من الغاية القراءات السبع متواترة عند الأئمة الأربعة وجميع أهل السنة خلافا للمعتزلة وقال في باب الصلاة سر باب الصلاة الأمة مجتمعة ما عدا المعتزلة على أن كل واحدة من السبعة ثبتت عن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بالتواتر الإمام بدر الدين الزركشي says from السروج in the chapter of fasting he says القراءات السبع the seven recitations that we have are متواترة they are all multitude narration mass transmission عند الأئمة الأربعة according to the four imams الإمام أبو حنيفة الإمام مالك الإمام الشافع الإمام أحمد وجميع أهل السنة and أهل السنة all of them agree that the Quran is متواتر خلافا للمعتزلة the only person who opposes us in this is the معتزلة he also said in the chapter of fasting in the same book, Bahr al Muhit, he said, Al Umma, the Umma, a mujtamiatum, unanimously in agreement, Ma'ad al Mu'tazila, other than the Mu'tazila, Ala anna kulla wahidati minasabi, that 
other than the seven tabatat al rasulillah sallallahu alaihi wasallam bi tawatur the seven qiraat all of them have come by mass transmission by uh, large quantity of people have narrated it tajuddin al sukki rahimahullah he says in his kitab man al mawani' an jam' al jawami' he says as sab' lam yukhtalaf fi tawaturiha the seven qiraat there is no differences that they are mutawatir we mentioned the places of agreement. Now he goes on to the second three, the Qira of Ya'qub and Khalif and Abi Ja'far ibn al-Qa'qa. These three that make it ten, what about them? Subki goes on to say, The three extra Qira'at, Ya'qub and Khalif and Abi Ja'far al-Qa'qa, he says, Saying that it is not mutawatir fi ghayat al It's a statement that has no weight whatsoever. Wala yasihu al-qawla bih. And to say that is wrong. Amman yu'tabaru qawluh. If that is someone whose statement is taken into consideration. Yani a imam whose statement is given consideration wouldn't say such a thing. And he mentions who they are. And then he goes on to say la tukhalifu al-sab'ah. The Qira of Ya'qub and Khalaf and Abi Ja'far ibn al-Qa'qa' they do not go against the seven. Yani the, those three Qira'at which make it ten, all of them are by, uh, they are all transmitted to us by Ijma' he's saying to you, Tajuddin al-Suqi rahimahullah. Waliyuddin Abu Zur'at al-Iraqi who died in the year 826, he said in his kitab, Ghaythul Hawa, he said in his kitab, Al-Ghaythul Hami' شرح جمع الجوامع هي القراءات السبع متواترة بإجماع من يعتمد به بشرط صحة إسنادها إلى أولئك القراء هي سد السبع قراءات آ متواترة by unanimous agreement مع من يعتد به but it is an إجماع that it has come to us in mass transmission by the scholars those people whose statements is given weight I mean there are people who said it's not متواتر but they're not people whose statement is given weight he's saying بشرط صحة إسنادها إلى أولئك القراء. But the condition is that these قراءات attributed to the قارئ himself. ابن أمير الحاجي has a شرح on the كتاب التحرير written by كمال الدين ابن همام. Uh, he said جميع القرآن متواتر إجماعا. The whole entire Quran is متواتر by unanimous agreement. So I've given you five great imams so far. Ibn Taymiyyah, Taqiyuddin Ibn Taymiyyah, who died in the year 728 Hijriya, what he said in his Majmu' al-Fatawa. I gave you Badruddin al-Zarkashi, rahimahullah, who died in the year 794 Hijriya, what he said in his kitab, uh, Al-Bahr al-Muhit. He said the same in his Tashneef al-Masami'ah. Tajuddin al-Subki, who's the third imam I mentioned, who said in his kitab, Man'u al-Mawani' an jam' al-Jawami'ah. Also, I gave the statement of uh, Waliyuddin Abu Zur'at al-Iraqi, who died in year 826 Hijriya. Tajuddin al suqi died 771 Hijriya. Ibn Amir al-Hajji, he died in year 879 Hijriya. And I given his statement in what he said, that the entire Qur'an, all of the Qur'an is mutawatir by unanimous agreement. Now I'm going to move on to the next five Imams that I want to give you, who said the same thing. But it's important for me to quote them all to show you that this issue is not a view held by a few scholars here and there. I actually have 38 scholars who've all transmitted ijma' that the Qur'an and the qira'at قد تحقق في الواقع التواتر that the qira'at and the Qur'an the reality is that they are all mutawatir, the 10 that we have. I have a large number of scholars who said that. But I'm only going to quote 10 in this episode inshallah ta'ala. Now I'm going to go on to the sixth imam and what he said. Jalaluddin al-Suyuti rahimahullah, who died in the year 911 Hijriya. He has a sharh on his own kitab, Kawkab al-Sati'ah. Suyuti explained his own kitab, Kawkab al-Sati'ah. Kawkab al-Sati'ah is a kitab and it's in the field of Usul al-Fiqh. It's 1,500 and something lines of poetry. And he made the poetry from the kitab, Jam'u al-Jawami' by Subki. He explained his nadm. Suyuti rahimahullah, he said, Al-Qira'atu al-Sab'ah. المعروفة للقراء السبعة أبو عمر ونافع وابن كثير وابن عمر وعاصم وحمزة والكسائي متواترة بإجماع من يعتمد إليه أي نقلها عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم جمع يمتنع تواطؤهم عادة على الكذب لمثلهم وسلموا إليهم 
بشرط صحة إسنادها منا إلى أولئك القراء سيوطي هي سيز ذات the قراءات the seven قراءات that are known today يعني mention who those seven قراء أبو عمر ونافع وابن كثير وابن عامر وعاصم وحمزة والكسائي all of their قراءات is متواترة بإجماع من يعتمد إليه by unanimous agreement لكن هو من يعتمد إليه the one whose statement is given weight that's what they said all the scholars who are محققين scholars of تحقيق that's what they said يعني what he says is that نقلها عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم these great imams أبو عمر النافع ابن كثير ابن عامر عاصم حمزة كسائي their قراءات has been transmitted from the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم the number of people who've transmitted it is يمتنع تواطؤهم عادة على الكذب these people could not have agreed on lying okay and then he gave the condition which is that these narration, these Qur'an has to be attributed to them. Abu Walid ibn Rushd, the grandfather, he has a kitab called Al-Bayan wa Tahseel. He said, Al-Quran inna ma yu'khadu bin naql al-maktu'i bihi. The Qur'an is taken from a correct, authentic chain. That is maktu'un bihi, that the ummah have all decided to say this is it. Ani al-tawatur. And then he explained it to you, which is the transmission that comes from a large number of people from a large number of people. Shamsuddin ibn al-Jazari, who died the year 833 Hijriya. He said in his kitab, Munjid al-Mukri'in, Suyuti died 911, I gave you his statement. I also gave you the statement of uh, Abu al-Walid ibn Rushd al-Jad, who mentions it in the kitab, Al-Bayan wa Tahseer. He died here 520 Hijriya. Now I'm going to give you the eighth Imam, Shamsuddin ibn al-Jazari, rahimahullah. He has a kitab called Munjid al-Mukri'in. He says, وَكَيْفَ يَكُونُ مَا أَجْمَعَ عَلَيْهِ الْقُرَّاءُ أُمَّمًا عَنْ أُمَّمٍ غَيْرَ مُتَوَاتِرَ How is it possible um, that which the Qurra have all agreed upon generation after generation that it's not mutawatir? How is that possible, he's saying? Now I'm going to the ninth Imam. Uh, Atiruddin ibn Hayyan, who died in 745 Hijriya. He said in his Sharh of Tasheel, by the way, Atiruddin ibn Hayyan, as Zirikli mentioned, he's an Imam in Tafsir, an Imam in Arabiya, an Imam in Qiraat and Ulum al Quran, and he's an Imam. He said in Sharh of Tasheel, he said, Jami'u Qiraat is Sab Mutawatira, Fa'ala Kuli Qiraat in Minha Jam, Mala Yumkinu Tawatu, Mala al Kadibi. He says, All of the Qiraat from the seven Imams are Mutawatira. فَعَلَى كُلِّ قِرَاءَةٍ مِنْهَا Every single one of those قِرَاءَات There are a number of people It is impossible for them to have unanimously agreed upon lying It's impossible that these people could have agreed on lying The number is too large And last and final uh, statement that I'm going to give is The statement of Abu al-Abbas al-Wansharisi Abu al-Abbas al-Wansharisi has a Who died in 914 Hijriya He has a kitab called Al-Mi'yar al-Mu'rib Wal-Jami' al-Mughrib عن فتاوى علماء إفريقية والأندلسي والمغرب. He says الملحدة الذين دعوا انقطاع تواتر القرآن على عهد الصحابة الذين جمعوه إنما قصدوا بتلك النحلة إزاحة القرآن عن أن يكون حجة وأرادوا أن يكون فيه مدخل للشك والظن. He said in his كتاب عيار النعرب that the ملحدة the the heretic people the atheists and the disbelievers and the criminals and the uh, ex-Muslims and all of them who claim that the Quran there was a period of time when there was no mass transmission at the time of the companions what they intended from this is what the reason they said that statement and their intent behind it is to take away from the Quran to take away from the Qur'an the, the, uh, the, uh, the effect that it has on the people of it being a proof for them. The Muslims believe the Qur'an is a proof. So what they wanted to do is to remove that from the Qur'an and take away from the Qur'an it being a hujjah for them. And their intent was to bring doubt and speculation and assumption around the Qur'an. And if you're told your Qur'an didn't come in mass transmission, then you're going to say to yourself, uh, maybe then they could have got it wrong. So the whole purpose for it was to make you doubt your book, you doubt your religion. That's what their intent was. And that's true. The statement of Abu al-Abbas al-Wansharisi, rahimahullah, it's so right and it's so true. The aim and objective behind all of this is that 
you are going to be stripped from your religion and the, and the belief of Allah Azza and the miracle that the Quran holds. Those 10 Imams, those 10 Imams and their statement is enough for any Muslims to say this issue is crystal clear for me. These scholars are trustworthy and they're reliable. They are imma in different fields in Islam. They all, rahimahumullah, are muhaqqiqeen. And I chose those scholars specifically because they have tahqiq in knowledge. Yani they are precise and they've all transmitted the same thing. That's the second response to those who say that the Quran is not mutawatir. That is the second response. We've got three more responses left, inshallah ta'ala. And after every single response, inshallah ta'ala, anyone who's sincere and genuine and is looking for the truth will have no other path open for them except to surrender and submit and accept. I'll leave you guys there, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, for now, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bidhnillah al kareem Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel? Simple, like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users and imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.